So today's video is about the Jabra Elite E45s, which I've got right here, or the Elite Active 45Es. And um, basically, I'm just take out the box, have a little listening um, to Spotify, and see like what my thoughts are about, like obviously how balanced the music is and stuff like that. This also does have an assistant, so you can use this with Siri, or you can use it with Google Assist. And the voice clarity has got two microphones, so it should be quite clean and clear. But I'm going to be testing it out as well to see how good that sounds like for on the phone to someone and then obviously say to you. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what these can do, to be honest with you, because they look pretty stylish in the box. These work with um, Bluetooth 5.0 as well. So if your phone's nice and up to date, then it's all good. It is backwards compatible, but you get the best out of Bluetooth 5.0 at the moment. But anyway, as you can see, presentation is just lovely. Just uh, always with Jabra, it's just really nice. So you just unplunk that out. Wee. So it's really nice. I love their little packaging, their designs and stuff. Get rid of that card. And then you've got that little box bit there. Then obviously the headphones there. We'll come back to the headphones in two seconds. But in the box, it does say superior, uh, was it superior sound starts with superior kit. Now, in here is a little manual, and this is warning and declaration. And then obviously it's a USB cable, which is pretty small. And this is a USB or mini USB to connect to charge up your device and keep it charged and everything like that. And talking about charging device, if you leave 15 minutes, it will give you an hour's charge. And it should last up to nine hours of charge when you fully charge it as well. So I'll put that back in there. Um, I did go through the box already and there's no other in-ear buds or anything like that. It's just one set of ear buds and it kind of hooks around your ear as well. Um, so it says like basically power it on, press the button for one second. It's got a power and off and hold, play and pause like everything else. Answer call, Bluetooth pair and hold, volume next track hold, volume down, previous track hold. Um, voice assistant is on one of the sides and I think it's the one with the USB connector. Um, and a mute microphone and basically it just shows you how to obviously put it on so bend and insert in your ear and then shape um, the air hook so it fits your ear so inside here here's uh, the in-ear buds the hooky hooky ones now looking at these straight away I like these because they just fit on your neck if you've got a big neck though no, I don't know I think it'll still work but anyway look at look at the design it's a weird, unique colour. It's like a grey with a bit of lime in it and um, a bit of old school green. But this is a button here. This is a button here on the side. USB port on the bottom there. And then your uh, rocker volume. So volume up, volume down on the side there. LED lights to show when it's on. And these little hooks there. I guess you can take these off and then obviously clean them. And it's got a metal grill inside as well for the in ear buds. So you can obviously listen to the sound. And it's got right and L, so it's easy to know which ear you need to put it in. And then you just got this lovely sort of uh, feel. Um, it's like a skin sort of feeling type. So it gets around your neck and obviously it'll feel the same sort of warmth and it'll feel comfortable. So I just realized I've already got the app already, already installed on my phone from the other Jabras I had, which were the Elite 65Ts or something like that. So I'm just gonna have a look at this and see how we can get this to work. Those are the other ones I had, so they were the Jabra Elite Active 65Ts. Now I'm just gonna turn these on and see what happens, see if it picks it up. So we get a green flashing light on the bottom and Bluetooth lights on. It's on strong, then it's fading in and out. So put the pairing mode on, put the headphone, put the headset into pairing mode by holding down the multifunctional button until the LED flashes blue. Go into the Bluetooth menu on your phone and select Jabra Elite Active 45E from the list Jabra Elite Active 45E. So I'm just connecting it through the phone and see how quick it is. Right, so it's there. Connection successful, Jabra Elite Active 45E is now connected to my phone. But what I'll do is I'll just go to done. Uh, we hope you enjoy your Jabra Elite Active 45E. So do I. So start. And then we've got the graphical equalizers right here. 
and it should have ambient sounds if I remember rightly on here. And then what I'm going to do is have a listen to some music, give you my honest feedback. Hello, how do I sound? What would you, what would you give, um, oh, let's turn it up then. What would you give um, the voice quality, sound quality? Nine. Oh, good. Go on, you speak. Cool, all right. I'll see you later then. <laughs> Bye, bye, bye. So with these Jabras, the ones that have got the holes in, which is this one, this is what will get your voice assistant up. And then this one will obviously hang up and pour, hang up and answer calls and also pause and play your music. And underneath is the volume rocker for volume up, volume down, and then forward skip and forward back as well. It's not too bad, it's quite responsive. I like where the buttons are, very simple, like the main buttons are on the side and you can actually hold the actual device and then it makes it more secure that you don't put it out your ears. But more on that in one second, I'm just gonna show you this. So press the button and that's where it comes up, like that. So I get all my assistants all at the bottom. So that is pretty cool. And then obviously, I haven't set anything up because I've got Google, got Bixby, got Alexa, and I've got car mode. And if I had Siri on there as well, it would be an Android, Siri, Apple phone thingy. Don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but anyway, so that is is that. So let's talk about the sound quality. So let's talk about the voice quality first. The voice quality sounds good. I could hear um, the person, I rang the landline, and I could hear the person in the background with the window open i could hear the traffic going past and then i can also when she started speaking i then it kind of just focused on her voice she also said that she gives this a nine for voice quality so that's good because it sounded good both ends and um, for sound quality it's a bit strange now these are only 89 pound and i think they're definitely worth 89 pound because considering what you can do with them it's pretty good. Now, if I'm going to talk about sound quality for bass, the bass is there when you push them as far as you can in your ears, but I guess if you do that, it makes it more uncomfortable, or it depends if you've got bigger like ear holes, then it's going to sit more comfortable in it. It doesn't have interchangeable in-ear tips, so basically it's one size that fits all, and then you strap it onto your ears, and then it fits comfortably. And it does feel comfortable. Now, I had this tag on, so I should have took the tag off, because it was rubbing against my back, but the other bit just warms your skin, so whatever naturally your skin tone, your skin temperature is, it's gonna go exactly the, um, the same as that, so it's fine. But when this is in my ears, it feels comfortable, um, it feels like if I move about a little bit, it feels okay, as long as it's like wrapped around your ears, but without those hooks, it will just literally fall out. There's no doubt about it, but it fits and it's just like there on your ears. Now, the perfect listening pleasure for these in earbuds is 75%, but you, it's not terribly loud or anything like that, but 75% is where you're gonna get the optimal sound, the bass, the mids and everything, all through the graphic equalizer on the app, you will get perfect sort of sounding. But as soon as you go past that, you start to get a decreasement. So when you've got vocals, you've got the vocals that all come together, it sounds really nice. But as soon as the bass comes in, the bass goes, um, like if you've got it up towards more bass and heavy, then the vocals kind of sound muffled. So the vocals are really clear, but then you notice that it goes muffled. And I don't mean a distorted muffle. It has got like about 10% of uh, distortion on it when you're going really loud. But that's like in any in earbuds, as long as if they're top quality, you still get a bit of distortion, but you can really handle it. Now these are fun to use. Now if everyone likes in earbuds and wants a different sort of styling like these, then it would be good to have. Because number one, they've got they're good styling, they fit, they fit anyone's ears, so you can just buy it as a present and it's fine because it'll fit everyone's ears. But it's not for everyone. Like me, I like in earbuds to go in. I don't really like in earbuds, I like over there the head ones, but if I was gonna have 
headphones or in earbuds, I like them in my ears so I can feel that ultimate bass. Now, when you push the, in, um, the headphones in like this, you can feel that it's got really deep bass and deep clarity. But it's just the fact is, is that it muffles a bit over 75%. Most of you will probably use it at 75%, and people like me will probably use it at 100%. It's not super loud, and I've got really like 100% hearing. And um, I tell you what, it just it's really weird. It's like the bass and the vocals go in and out, in and out. But some music sounds so different, like I haven't even heard it like that before. You know, like when you've got such an expensive sound system or something that's so good quality, someone knows what they're doing when they set up a sound system and they've got the subwoofer and they've got all the front speakers and back speakers and it's all in the room and it just sounds perfect. It's like, wow, I've never heard that sound before from music that I've been listening to for years and years. It just sounds ultimately different. This is what it sounds like at 75%. At 80%, it sounds like that plus the in and out. So the in and out, it's like a reverbation. It's like, um, Oh, it's like the bass is there, but it's like a wobbling sort of sound. So it's wobbling rather than a flat solid bass line or flat punchy bass line. It's like it, you've got that bass line if it's separate on its own. The treble is completely gone. It's like there's no mids, but I had it on like full bass heavy and a few on the highs. Now you can mix it and when you mix it, you do get the sound quality that you desire. They're not super loud, but it's just right. For all that price point, the technology you get with it and how cool they look and it fits all, it's definitely really quite cool. I, I definitely recommend them. Um, but if you're a proper, proper bass head and you really just want something fitted in your ears, then I would suggest that you look in other Jabra's range of uh, in-ear buds because they do have some that are really quite cool. But I like these, these are nice and stylish and I like the fact that the buttons are on the outside where you can have your voice assistant on there and then obviously you can hang up and answer calls. You don't get muddled up which button it is and get all paranoid because underneath is the volume rocker and that's what skips the tracks backwards and forwards and then obviously USB is on the other side and you've got the LED as well to show battery life um, and also uh, how much battery life you've got and it should, vol it should sound off in your ears as well, but obviously I've got it inside the box at 100%, but I'll probably leave it in a link in the description down below when I've listened to it for a little bit longer and burn them in, should be a little bit more warmer. But yeah, that is all about the Jabra, what are these, a Jabra El Elite Active E45s. Um, subscribe, share, follow me on all social media platforms. Leave a comment down below if you want to say something about these in ear buds or ask me a question. I don't really mind. I will just literally get back to you as soon as possible to let you know whether you should buy them or not. But you should buy them because I've already told you you should buy them. But at £89, you can't really go wrong. Like if you look back in time, £89 for um, some headphones or in ear buds, they were pretty rubbish. Now they're really good. So anyway, Roger run out.